So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them, or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Commander? If I was a lesbian, I would say giggity to what she just said about having something real in her hands. Because I believe that was a sexual joke. The Turians will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. Commander? How's the ship running, Edie? I am updating the cyber warfare suite around our Reaper IFF. It should resemble Reaper code exactly. Yeah, I tend to forget we got that on board. Hello, Shepard. I should, uh, I would say that we should probably get rid of it, but considering it allows us to man manipulate, realize, like uh, the Reapers do, uh, I might as well keep it. Has some good come out of the Reaper tech. <laughs> I believe you are one to meet with me. I'm gonna claw for a moment. Feed the fish. And change this. Also, I thought I'd show you guys the casual wear. He's got the uniform here. You got like, kind of like a refugee looking look. It's just that's the same one as one, except for a little bit darker. And then the last outfit, that's the dress that I mentioned in Mass Effect 2. Uh, I don't like skin tight dresses. <laughs> They're really hard to maneuver in them, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad on her, but it's just, uh, I don't like skin tight dresses. Week. Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers. And how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. 
Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. Well, I'll say Commander Shepard was born on Mindwar, but never let what happened there define her. Shepard was also a deadly tactical fighter. Most enemies never saw her coming. She was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where she could. And it was a privilege to know her. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. I noticed though that one of the fish was <laughs> freaking out <laughs> as we were talking. Uh, that was a little funny. Let's see what's going on with Morden and Eve. No? No talkage? Doctor, I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rate. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh, better to die to a thrasher ma with shotgun blasting, roaring raw, than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiaka in her veins. Off to fight historians can with diplomats instead of a grant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan Queen. For she is the Krogan Queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan Queen, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan Queen. <laughs> Still prefer Patty's song. Of course. I really had to twist your arm. <laughs> okay, if that's how you show your gratitude. <laughs> Twist Morton's arms up. I think he needs his arms. Good to see you. Say that again? The population of the colony world of Tyvor has been killed. I don't understand. The Reapers have been taking people alive. It was self-inflicted. When Reaper forces invaded, Tyvor's colonists detonated nuclear weapons inside their cities. Goddess. Their deaths would have been instantaneous, Doctor. Thank you, Glyph. That'll be all. Wow. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. Then you'd only be nine years old. Perhaps we could talk later. Is it weapon damage or shields? Definitely shields. Oh, 
Well, Derek probably would have been able to translate for us, but he wouldn't understand what it was saying, because like he said, he would, he's a soldier, not a scientist. You know, you don't have to stand there. You can go sit down. It seems you believed Protheans built the mass relays. The Reapers are cunning in their deception, allowing life to flourish century upon century. Letting us believe ourselves the masters of the cosmos. Then the truth becomes known. There are monsters in the dark spaces. And we are their prey. Your Liara Asari asks many questions. You'd think she'd never seen a Prothean before. Nobody's seen a Prothean before. It's like the first actually Prothean we've actually met besides, um, besides the Collectors. Commander. shuttle being so stealthy and all you sure do get shot at a lot well the ut 47a stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions so while few sensors can pick us up our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up time for an upgrade most scanners and tracking systems don't operate at mid-range frequencies sure maybe we've been shot at but we haven't been shot down yet lucky for us you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are well yeah there's that too <laughs> That's uh, true. Wish you could have seen that gun on Tachanka firsthand. I cut the auditory emulators and watched that Cerberus cruiser gracefully and silently disintegrate. Beautiful. Sometimes I worry about you, man. Can't believe Cerberus would open fire on civilians like that. As twisted and insane as his logic might be, I thought the elusive man was trying to save humanity. I guess he's willing to sacrifice anyone to win. Hello, Commander. Well, this like with me and Hackett uh, thought is just, we have theorized that it's probably a rogue faction. Parts of the chunk are reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but you know, the sand and everything. Ready when you are. That is a bit dusty, isn't it? <laughs> 